and welcome back guys this is week 9 of my learn python with google videolog it's time to it was time to uh, work on the final assessment for the week number 5 um, that was about implementing unit testing and we used quick labs which is a platform that lets you um, log in into a remote server uh, which is um, supported by Google Cloud so you logged in via SSH and then using the terminal and the nano editor you write your script to pass the assessment and I must say that it was easy easier than I thought so it went smooth and didn't take me much to complete it and so I passed it and then I moved forward to the next module which is module 6 uh, week 6 um, of the course and here we studied uh, a new programming language which is bash scripting um, and we uh, saw some of key of the key concepts of this uh, language uh, like some of the basic Linux commands to um, navigate through directories and create directories read files, create files, moving files between directories and how to create bash scripts and execute them and how to execute scripts using uh, variables and globs and to influence the output of these scripts and how to use while and for loops in bash and um, why we should uh, when uh, we should choose bash over python um, so the module started uh, with a section related to linux shell and some of its commands uh, we started studying uh, basic, Linux, basic Linux commands and I knew all of them uh, because it's over five years now that I use Linux as my main operative system so uh, that wasn't nothing new um, so uh, we then moved forward and started studying how to read streams and um, using a process called uh, redirection um, that is a process that the, the process of sending a stream to a different destination um, and here we use it uh, to redirect the standard output of a command to a file using the um, greater than sign symbol and uh, we studied how to append uh, the standard output to a file using the double greater than symbol and the, um, then we studied uh, that we can also um, use the redirection with the standard input and uh, not just with the output uh, so instead of using the keyboard to send data to a program so into a program uh, we use the file and the greater and the less than uh, symbol to send the contents of a file inside the script uh, so we fed the script using the file content um, then we move to um, another concept which is uh, called piping uh, so redirection using piping uh, which is the process of sending the output of a command uh, in um, using the pipe character and send this output uh, and use it as an input of another command um, that was um, for example the case of um, when using the uh, ls command in, in, in bash and then you use the um, pipe and then less uh, command uh, which is this command here I'm gonna copy it here so when you use this command um, in in bash you actually um, 
saying that you want the output of the ls command uh, to be passed as input of the ls command which is a paging command uh, and then you will see that when you have a long output of files and directories uh, as a result of the ls command you will be able to page uh, these results uh, because you are uh, actually chaining the um, output and then you passing it inside this uh, this last command so um, the following section was related about signals and processes um, signals are essentially tokens uh, delivered to running processes uh, to indicate uh, a desired action um, like when you type ctrl c uh, to interrupt a running process uh, that happens in a polite way and as the command uh, sends a, a sig int uh, signal which interrupts the process in a polite way which means uh, that it finish to run and then inter interrupts the process um, so, like for instance, when we use um, the ping command and then we type Ctrl C, we see a, a short report at the end. Um, or when we use Ctrl Z, uh, we stop the running process without uh, properly terminating it, as the command sends a um, six stop signal. Uh, and if you use it in uh, together with the um, if you use it to stop the ping command you won't see any report at the end just the command is interrupted as it was without uh, outputting any other results to the screen to the terminal so the section <coughs> ended with a quick uh, quiz uh, before moving to the next topic and here we started using bash scripts including creating a script so how to create a script uh, using bash and how to use variables and globs and how to use conditionals in bash so if and else statements uh, then we had to pass another quiz before moving forward to the next session that was about uh, learning some advanced concepts in bash like while and for loops and now to choose between bash and python essentially when you have a problem to solve uh, and then another quiz time uh, before the final assessment for this module um, the module 6 assessment was um, again uh, a test using quick labs and this time was about edit files using substrings um, I must say that I'm, I mean I passed uh, easily this uh, lab but at the end uh, I was uh, quite uh, overwhelmed and as there was a lot going on um, a lot to process so I took a break and I did that by recording uh, two new videos of my course learn uh, of my uh, Python course for beginners which is in Italian uh, so if you speak Italian you can watch it um, and during the break I spent some time listening to music and watching funny videos on YouTube and that's when I accidentally watched a video called uh, how to rap for beginners uh, as, I, as I love um, the rap music uh, that this video just pop up in my in my feed so I watched it uh, that gave me the inspiration uh, for a simple project that I could uh, develop as a part of the Python course for beginners that I'm recording so that would be the last episode of the course the episode number eight uh, where I will write a script uh, to help um, beginners to write a, to write to write a rap song. <clears throat> uh, that was it for the week nine. Uh, again, a lot more, a lot of things to process. 
um, uh, in the following weeks probably I will have to uh, go back and refresh some of these topic that I uh, studied during this uh, new course uh, that's it for this video log I will see you next week for the week 10 of the video log where I actually completed the course and uh, I have earned a new certificate and um, so as always uh, stay home protect your family and save your ass cheers